Given a binary tree, can you write a program to find its maximum depth? That's today's video, let's get into it. Hi everyone, my name is Steve. Today we're going through a very classic interview problem, or just computer science problem, maximum depth of binary tree. Let's take a look at the problem description first. Given a binary tree, find its maximum depth. The maximum depth of, is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down to the farthest leaf node. A leaf is a node without children. So let's take a look at given this binary tree. 3, 9, 20, 15, 7. Written its depth is 3. So there are 3 levels. So its depth is 3. 1, 2, 3. Basically, we'll start from the root node. That's the only node that we have access to in the very beginning. From the root node, it has a left child and a right child. We'll have the recursive function to check to recursively to compute the height from its left child and the height from its right child. And we'll take the maximum of either its left child or right child and then plus one because the root node is always having a depth of one. And in the very beginning, if the if the root node is not, we'll just return zero. That means there is no tree. The height is zero. So then let's take a look how that actually is going to play out in the recursive function or how we are actually solving this problem. So suppose we are given this binary tree, 3, 8, 5, 7, 4, 2, 9. Suppose we are given this. How can we compute its height or its depth recursively? So first, we are only given access to the root node, which is the node with value 3. What we'll do is that, as I said, we'll use plus 1, 1 plus the max height of its left tree, which is a subtree with node value 8 and the subtree with node value 5, beginning from here. This is the height that we eventually want, wanted to return. How can we return this? How can you compute this height? We we'll use the recursive call. This is the height. Then we need to find, we need to recursively compute the height for the left subtree and the right subtree. As this formula put it, we'll, use, we'll calculate the left subtree first. So we'll go with the left one first. So the left one, left subtree with the value, the node with value 8, how can we get, get the height of this one? Again, recursive call. 7 and now. The right child of the node with value 8 is now. So we know its value is going to be 0. So it's going to be 7 and 0. Subtree of 7 and 0. Next, we'll get recursive call again. 7. 7, we need to, how can we calculate the height of the node of the subtree of 7? Again, it's recursive call. 1 plus 0 and 2. So why zero? Zero is the left child of the node with value seven, right? And it's two is, is its right child. Then we'll calculate this one, subtree two. So two, again, two is one plus max subtree nine and nine and zero. So subtree nine again is this. So you see the, the node with value nine, that is the leaf node. Leaf node doesn't, the, by definition, leaf node doesn't have any other children, right? So that's where we have zero zero so one plus max of zero zero which is one so that means the recursive call reached the base condition we can return right so we know the value of this one which we can put into this one right that means we get this one and we put this one into this that means we get one plus one is two then we have the value we have the final value for this one we'll take this one which is two into this formula then we get one plus two is three we solved this one. Then we have the value for this one, subtree 7. Subtree 7, we have 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. So now the subtree, the height of the subtree 8, this one, is with the value 4. So now we have this value, right? But still, for the recursive function to finish, still it's going to further calculate this one, the subtree with value 5. So again, it's going to go recursively. Subtree 5, which is going to call recursively again, 1 plus max subtree 4 and zero because this right child is null. And then subtree four is one plus zero, zero. So this one is one. And then we know this one is one plus one, which is two. Then we know this value, which is two. So one plus max of four or two. That gives us five. That is the final, this is, this is the final value, the final depth, maximum depth that we should return or the height of this binary tree, which is five which is correct, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Total le levels are 5. So that's how we calculate this, the maximum depth of a binary tree using recursive call. Let's put the idea into the actual 
code and see if root so this is the base condition also the corner case if root equals now we'll just return zero couple of scenarios so that means the the very corner case which is the given root is just now that means there is no such a tree the tree doesn't exist so we return now the other case says is that this is a leaf node for example nine for example four this is a leaf node so it doesn't have anything these are the cases when it's zero we're just going to return zero so one plus zero is one right so this is what we need to have then after that we'll just do one plus max max math max what we'll do here is this is where the recursive function we'll just use this function itself then we'll do root left to continue to let the um, recursive function call itself and then root right that's it that's what happened that's happened exactly how we described it in this in these slides now let's hit submit and see judging taking a long time a lot of people are working on this wow it's taking really long oh i thought it's time limit exceed, exceeding or something no it's accepted um all right this is the recursive function this, this is the recursive solution of course we can do this iteratively as well but it's basically using some extra data structures that we can mimic how the actual can how the actual programs run on the program call stack we can do that as well so let's put it let's quickly write the iterative function we'll use a linked list linked list we'll use two linked lists one is to help us to hold the tree node to help us iterate on we'll call it we'll call it stack new linked list the other linked list will will hold the depth of this of the current node that we are iterating on oh in the very beginning what we would like to check is still if root equals to now then we don't need to do anything we'll just return zero that is actually the only corner case or edge case in this here in this in this iterative function since we're not calling the recursive function again so then after that we'll add root node into this call stack and then we'll have depth in the very beginning depth since the root node is not now which means it's guaranteed there's at least one node so we'll have a depth of one and then instead of using a recursive call we'll just do this iteratively we will write the code ourselves so we'll have a while loop here while stack is not empty what we'll do is that we'll keep popping up so the stack remember when the program runs on the call stack the stack the feature of the stack is uh, last in first out right the one that popped onto the stack last will pop out first so what we'll have is we'll get the current node stack pull come on auto complete pull last all right pull last which is going to give us the the most recent tree node that we put on top of the stack which in this case linked list the end of the linked list pull last and then what we'll have a, we'll have another variable we'll have one variable here we'll call it depth zero which is the value that we're going to return in the end depth and then we'll have another one called current depth which is the depth of the no current node that we are trying to iterate on and then we'll get this one from the second linked list which is pull last as well pull last and then we'll iterate on this node first we'll check if current node is not equal to now why do we need to have this check that is because of the code that i'm just about to write let's see what we'll do is that we'll first we'll check uh depth we'll get the depth which is math max depth and current depth we'll always take the maximum out of this and then instead of checking whether current node dot right or current node dot left equals to now or not instead of having two checks we'll just have one check which is we put outside of here so then from this point we just uh, we can just add whatever into the the first stack regardless whether it's now or not so we don't check it here and instead in order to follow exactly the path which is to go through the left first and then go to the right subtree so well what we will do here is we'll stack add 
that means we will add right child first remember the feature of the stack is um, last in first out so what we'll do here depth add that means we'll add the right side of the child first which is on bottom on the bottom of the cost stack which means right side will be popped last which is following the order that we had done in the recursive function after adding this we'll add a current depth plus one remember this is the current depth that we're trying to add then we'll do exactly the same for the left side left side and then depth add current current depth is there a typo i hope not okay and then that's it um so whenever say in this case say when we encounter nine it's left and right child both of them are now so instead of checking now here we just add a now into this call stack that's why after we pull the admin out of the stack we'll check whether the current admin is now or not if it's now we just won't do anything that's the entire let me check if there's any typo current current depth root. no it's not root what i want is current current dot right and current dot left all right the reason we need to plus one here is is that say for example when we are encountering three to nine when we encounter it, it's when we are trying to iterate when we are trying to add is left or right left is nine right is 20 into the stack its depth it needs to plus one right so this one depth is one this one depth is two so we need to plus one that's why we have a plus one here all right this looks good to me let's hit submit again this is writing the code in the iterative fashion all right it's also accepted and this is this is recursing um this is this is running through the code in exactly the same pattern the same fashion as the recursive call that we just wrote which is this one i believe let's take a look seven minutes ago yeah this is the recursive this is the recursive call so remember we put root dot left so we go through the left subtree first and then after can after reaching the uh, the leaf node on the left side on the left side subtree then we'll go all the way up to try to compute the right side subtree so in order to follow in order to mimic exactly how the program runs using the iterative code that we wrote ourselves so we put the current dot right on top of the stack first and then we put current dot left on top of the on top of the stack stack so that we pull out the left node we traverse the left side first so the time complexity of both algorithms is, is o n n is the number of nodes in this given binary tree space complexity of both programs is going to be o n o n is actually the worst case of both iterative and recursive solution which is the extreme case all like the tree is extremely unbalanced so everything is lined up on one single branch right it's it's going to be looking like a linked list so everything is extremely skewed on the left side or on the right side that's going to be the worst case the cost stack is going to be o n but in the average case or in the most other cases the tree is going to be sort of balanced it's going to be o log n but in time or space complexity we talk about we use the worst case to denote the we use the upper bound right that's the worst case to denote the actual time or space complexity so the space complexity is o n i hope everything makes sense if you do feel you learn something from this video just do me a favor and hit the like button that's going to help a lot and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell notification right now we're going through a tree series and then later on we'll go through sorting and searching and then we'll go through dynamic programming a lot of good stuff to help people better prepare for their upcoming coding interviews so hit subscribe and tap the little bell so that you're not going to miss out on anything new that's it for today's video i'll see you guys in the next one